So this is Labor Day and we are just doing odd jobs around the house here and just chilling out. It's very warm outside, but we're planning to grill this evening. So I wanted to share our rib, grilled rib recipe that we use, kind of a traditional recipe that we got from my husband's brother. And here is the recipe. You can see that. We will write it on the screen for you as well. And here are the seasonings, which is garlic powder, Montreal steak seasoning, and seasoning salt. And then this whole bunch of different sauces that we stir together, including the honey. This is from our own bees on the farm here. And um, I think it's looks like it's mostly made from a um, locust, locust bloom or something like that. It's a little darker. And I actually was going to video this earlier and I forgot to do the first step for you. But this is the mixture that I made with these sauces and I will show them to you as I did them and the amounts. So it's basically mixing all of these sauces together in a bowl and taking a wire whip to do it. So it will be like two cups of Sweet Baby Ray's. And then next we have um, one cup of Heinz 57 that I'll put in there. And then I have a tablespoon of, of the brown spicy deli mustard and then some just a common yellow mustard and the Shalulu hot sauce, apple cider vinegar, and um, let me see, oranges and lemons. It takes the juice of two oranges and two lemons if you double the recipe. Yeah, you see my watermelon here too. I'm throwing all my my uh, peelings in there. I had cut up a watermelon and put it in the fridge. So yeah, you'll be seeing this uh, firsthand. And I just put all of these sauces in the bowl here. And now I will just whisk them together. And I'm doing the last orange here. Get all that juice out. And some of the pulp. I just take a serrated steak knife and kind of scrape some of the pulp out. It doesn't get the big veins or anything like that. So it's always something that we enjoy. Yeah, I did those. So here's my last one. Now all that juice goes in there. I, it also calls for several tablespoons of brown sugar along with the honey. Let's taste this a little bit. Mmm. It is nice and tart and just a tad hot. The Shalulu hot sauce is, is very hot. And this has a little bit of a bite as well, this Heinz 57. So it's just the right amount of sweet and hot and spice. If you can imagine that on a fresh grilled rib. So that is perfect. We're going to grill some jalapeno poppers, by the way. That is just jalapeno peppers stuffed with uh, a little bit of cream cheese and wrapped with bacon. So we'll probably put some seasonings on it too. So then I will show you how I wash these off and, and get these ready. So I'm gonna cut these, these packages open and we're gonna wash them off and lay them on these trays right here. It's just, um, this is a big cake pan or I have a cookie sheet here. And I didn't have another one that was big enough so I just used a tray, a plastic tray. And I'm hoping they'll fit on there. Looks like they have a lot of juice in them. And these these um, ribs were never frozen. They are totally fresh, so that makes the taste times 10. Garlic. 
really kind of cover every area and just sprinkle it on there a little bit. Doesn't take a lot at all, actually. And this is not garlic salt, this is powder, just for your information. If you use salt in all of these seasonings, it gets very salty. So this has salt in it and the Lori's has salt in it. So I just use the powder in this. I think the griller is in the background here watching, seeing if I'm doing this right. He's, he's going to come and inspect it here in a little bit, I think. But there he is. Hello, hello, hello. He's gonna tell me if I'm doing it right or not. She's getting all this ready and I gotta go out uh, 90 degrees and get the grill in the shade and I'll show you what's going on outside. But we'll show you how good this stuff is. You're gonna like it. And it's a, an ingredients and recipes that you can easily do. I hope you enjoy this and like this as much as we like doing it. Yeah, like and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna, um, show you how it's grilled yet so stay tuned oh and by the way we've got to flip these these things here mm -hmm. we've got to flip them around and do the other side too and then i'll let them sit for maybe an hour or so before they will be grilled so um yeah that's the last step actually i, I didn't do it for so long i almost forgot same treatment as before you just take the the seasonings and go over top and lightly salt them. He will have a very, very hot grill to just kind of sear them to trap the, the juices inside. So he will show you outside how he'll be doing that. But it's really easy. Anyone can do it. It's, it's, it's just a concoction of sauces that is so great and I think my husband's brother, Dave, is the one that did it. So Dave, if you're watching, thank you. We appreciate it that you share the recipe with us. So I think he came up with this recipe from scratch and we love it. Everybody that eats it loves it. Nobody has ever eaten any that they didn't like. So my brother is a, a real griller. So he, he's a, yeah, he's a gourmet griller. And now you've seen the last step. Good luck with grilling. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Hey, we are uh, getting this grill all fixed up here. This is a Traeger grill. I don't know if it matters anything, but it's a Timberline 1300 grill, and it's uh, igniting right now. I got it set at uh, 500 degrees, and uh, got plenty of pellets in there. Got some more here. Clean this grill out. It does so much better when you when you uh, blow it out and clean it all up. But uh, it's ready to go. Look at there. About ten minutes after I ignite this thing, it, it's a smoking. That's smoke rolling right there. But I'm not going to put my ribs in until I get that thing about four or five hundred degrees. But it's uh, takes about ten minutes for it to start rolling smoke. Imagine, imagine the smell. Then we're going to be on the watch. That's already going up.
going to unload them right here. There he comes with another, what is it, 40 pound bag? Yep, 40 pound bag. Very good, this is Steve. Two bags of pellets, thank you. You bet. Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore Well let me run through the breeze like the leaves on let me fly like the leaves when they fall Well, let my mind go serene Like a cool water stream That runs from the mountain so tall Oh, take me back down the old dirt road you buy a cheaper truck then that you can have now okay here's the spread that's what those ribs look like with that yummy sauce on it the jalapeno poppers and potatoes and the veggie tray the tea that we made and this is the pot that will probably be frozen or kept in the fridge or something and there's the watermelon we have for dessert Mm. Oh, Tonight man. they cook mm. for me. Oh. Man, look, look, look at that! Look Good at stuff. those. Talk that, about bubbleish, fresh barbecue Brugalicious. sauce, smoked on the old Trigger Grill, right there. Oh man! Talk about somebody that loves meat. All guys love the meat, I guess. What do you say, son? Very good. Very it's nice pretty indeed. Pretty insanely good. Very luscious. Swain. Oh man, I'm in my natural habitat. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. What does it taste like? Can you taste the oranges? The oranges, the lemons, the spice, the barbecue sauce, the, the tanginess. Spice, the hot, the sweet. The, awesome. The brown mustard. The brown mustard. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Ooh. It is a whole mixture of tangy, spicy sweetness. Oh, yeah. The so, that's a I, local mix there, L A H. Oh yes, they're enjoying an L A H. That, that's originated, soda pop. originated from Kentucky there. With a meal like this, we don't hardly ever have soda pop, but tonight we do with this meal. They uh, would want us to come cook this for their family. Somebody out there in YouTube land. We, we, there's five of us. I'm sure we wouldn't disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> one of the trucks that we're still living at home. Tell you what, <laughs> life's good with dad and mom. Oh boy. I wonder if this is if this is included in the rent or not. Is this extra maybe? <laughs> this might be extra. This might be extra.
Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore We hope when you try, it will turn out well. If you follow the recipe, it's so simple. It'll be very nice. Thank you all for watching. Yes, and don't forget, we are going to have more videos on Israel. We are going to get the next video together as soon as we can. And it will be about the town of Nazareth, where we were served an original Bible time meal. So, Keep subscribing, watching, and liking our videos. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.